you are all in the Isle of Albion. This is a place much like our world um, 1,200 years ago uh, in the English Isles. And uh, specifically, the English Isle uh, the, the, in, in what would be England and Albion. Uh, and you're in the far northern reaches of that. Every single one of you is a career delver. Uh, you do that specifically. You find ruins, and whether it's because of uh, your allegiance to God, uh, to help others, to slay evil monsters, or to gain treasure and fame, whatever reason you have, your goal in life is to um, plunder the famous dungeon of Rapanothic, which it is said um, that no one has ever gone to its bottom depths and ever returned alive. But it's also said that it's full of treasure and magical secrets and powerful relics and things like that. Um, and uh, in the course of this, uh, you have all traveled to try to find new entrances and also to deal with a problem that's been happening above ground as you've been trying to plunder Rapanothic. The settlement that you were staying at came under attack and two of you died. Um, and so these heroes have taken it upon themselves to try to deal with that. Some of them have heard of the things that have been happening out here on the edge of the borderlands. They've traveled here to, to join the fight. Others have been here close to the beginning now. Um, your character, uh, let's see, Ox, is that right? Ox. Okay, let's see. There you go, Ox. Uh, Ox, uh, for reasons that we won't go in deep with, uh, has, <laughs> has ended up among a barbarian tribe, a group of foreigners who have, uh, it's said that they were shipwrecked at some time in the past. And so they developed these, the shanty town in the Forest of Hope. And this community has sprung up a combination of refugees that are fleeing a nearby city that's come under siege from some of the very same pirates that, that now lead the settlement, and then uh, these foreigners. Um, and for whatever reason, perhaps you yourself have fled uh, Eastreach um, as a refugee. Uh, maybe you're a deserter. Maybe you were a soldier. I don't know. But... Um, you now find yourself deep, far, far away in, in the forest of hope, surrounded by monsters, and I'm the fourth. I'm the fourth son. The fourth son. The fourth son of a minor noble. Ah uh ha! -huh. Rest in peace, primogeniture. <laughs> no, yeah. nowhere to go. Nothing but a suit of armor and a sword. Nothing to my name. No hope of inheritance. No hope of career. Like many of the people they've run into in that case, you probably are one of the people driven. There's basically a displaced people's issue here. There's a refugee crisis. Um, uh, uh, barbaric, uh, waterborne tribes have been plundering the coast, and they've just destroyed one of the northernmost settlements, and it's driven all sorts of people into these woods. Okay. Okay, and with that, uh, Mike, what has happened so far on your journey down here with the group? Uh, oh, gosh, I remember Krogan beat up a big ogre-looking thing and chopped its head off. Um, we were supposed to... Weren't we delivering something? We did deliver something, indeed. Yeah, we we deliver, deliver. yeah. And then we were we were debating on whether or not we wanted to uh, just let Anne and her camp starve to death, or for, go for back. For Chris's and, sake, for Chris's sake, let's back up here. Who's Anne? Oh. What are you doing down here? Why did you come from Zelkor's Ferry? What are you doing? 
Boy, that's a hard one. And, we yeah, and even that, and then also like keep it short so we can hop in here and start slaying monsters too. So yeah, it is a tough one. <laughs> Well, we a, a few things at the same time. Um, one was we there are all these refugees in the in the forest and the wilderness. We're trying to figure out what was going on with them. That kind of led us down south. Uh, bandits clearing out bandits, um, and then we also wanted to try to find. A ruin that we could take over and establish as a kind of um, a resupply and resting station for exploring the wider forest. Those are the things I remember as our as our goals. Yeah, and um, Chris, so there are some gameplay conventions uh, for this. One of them is that when you obtain certain secrets or certain knowledge that's owned by your player, so if you are accepted into a settlement or a sanctuary or somewhere, you can start your game there the next time. Uh, so being able to actually find a new place to launch from in this 60 mile by 120 mile area full of monsters is a huge deal. So okay. that's one thing. Um, and anyways, the, uh, the leader of that settlement, a group of people, they always stay masked. They don't reveal who their, their faces, they wear hoods. Um, and they don't allow anyone into their tents. And it's probably got spider legs. You haven't seen your legs, I'll say that. But uh, mm -hmm. there's one theory that it's. Oh, a, I'm it's just putting it out there. That's my hypothesis. This is this. So, uh, but Anne uh, has has given you all. She said, "Look, if you can do these three things to help us." Then we will uh, we will let you stay here and you can eat for free and this will be a this will be a settlement you can call home. And uh, but she won't tell us what the third thing is. The fourth and fifth she won't say, but the first one you all did, which is you cleared out a spy outpost in the hills to the northeast. Uh, the second one is delivering um, raw goods to the barbarian tribe in exchange for food, which you did, uh, but you haven't made it back yet. And the third is to clear out a nest of gigantic Promethean spiders from the nearby woods to the west. Which you have not done. Yeah, so who's the caller today and what's the plan in terms of the barbarian group? And I assume our our buddy friend Ox over here um, you know, we've already spent like a, a day with whatever and, and we're on board with the plan, right? Oh, Ox is... Signing on with the first group that's going somewhere interesting. So, uh, a, a note for, uh, for what's going on with that is that um, Krogon and um, uh, Krogon and um, uh, Rodicon and Malar found people to party with and they got extremely drunk last night. And uh, you don't even know where they are, um, but uh, you've heard tells of their debauchery. But um, they uh, either way would be completely useless in your journeys today. But you do find this uh, this this person, uh, Ox, uh, who is uh, eager to travel with you. And then Solos, you've been given the charge of this uh, this other person who wants to travel with you, Teg. And the yeah, actually, um, group caller. Scumbag asked a good question. I think he was caller last time. I was, yeah. So it might be either Mike or Heretic. I don't remember who is next up in the rotation. Uh, I think it was actually Heretic. Well, it wasn't me. I remember that. I think I'm next week. Okay. Is, is that, that makes sense. Is that and okay, Heretic? On after that. Sorry, I missed sure. that. Thanks. Okay. I missed it as well. Was there anything we wanted to do while we were still here in town? Or were we just going to go? I think the plan was to reconnaissance. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I remember as well. I remember 
leave enough was it was the you guys oh. couldn't decide whether you wanted to give Anne the food or not, and you wanted to find out what the shtick was, like right. why they don't like each other. Canvas for information. Now we were warned that we oughtn't to mention that we were here on Anne's business. Uh, this is an out of character thing for for those who may or may not remember, because maybe they don't have such a good relationship with these guys. If you want to ask about her in the abstract, say we've heard rumors and try to gather some info that way, maybe that'll work. I mean, don't we need the magic user to translate for us with most of the people? I, I, I assume. I suspect we do. Only a couple yeah. of them speak common. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so um, so lost. Do you want to ask uh, Tag some of these questions? Uh, yeah, I'll ask Tig. If Tig's not got the info, you know, I'll ask if he minds a company and, you know, whoever wants to. <laughs> I assume we'll all go around and try to canvas, but maybe just a couple of people doing it would be better than uh, everyone. Okay, what do you ask him? Um, you know, like... I'll, I'll ask him, you know, if there's been any bad blood between uh, this settlement and any settlements nearby. Bad blood between this settlement and settlements nearby? I, Other than that Zelkor's Ferry, I haven't even heard of other settlements nearby. I've heard that there's one near the coast road. Now that's several, maybe two weeks travel to the east. Hmm. And then there's old castles and things that dot the the forest out here, but I didn't even. Uh, there's another settlement nearby. Uh, well, uh, yes, yes, there is. Um, uh, about a week's travel away. Oh. Well, all right then. No, I I haven't heard anything about that. Although I I mean. You've seen how it works here. Uh, it's not very hard to upset them. They have some strange... I mean, rules. we'll be heading that way, but I doubt you'll want to stay there. If you're of any mind like myself, you're probably wanting to be head to, heading to Zalcourt's Ferry, perhaps further out the way. Yes, our deal is that you'll get me to Zalcourt's Ferry if you want to learn the language of the, the Fornjotter. Yes. We'll get you there. Sooner or later. Oh, that's a relief. So, we... have you not heard of any um, disturbances? Any recent uh, occurrences between the uh, these people? Oh, yes. they uh, <clears throat> A sort of thing happens about every other day here. There'll be a fight, and um, Bug Juice's people will come out. They'll knock some heads. Maybe a couple people will die. And, um, yeah, it's, that's life here. Uh, I just So why is Bug now. Juice in charge, exactly? Have you seen Bug Juice? It, yes. Well, um, she just murders anyone that says she isn't in charge. Oh, fair enough. What yeah. is her religious, uh... Perspective. Do you know that? Religion. Well, they're Fonjotter peoples. Um, they have some bizarre heathen religion. Um, don't say that out loud. Don't, don't you know, don't uh, say that I said that, but <clears throat> uh, they believe in some foreign gods. I, I, I don't know, to be honest, Father. Do you know anything about the uh, ogres that we encountered uh, east of here? Ogres? Well, they say that there are things in the woods that are like people that have changed. Uh, from what I've seen of these woods, I believe it. I believe there could be something like that. Uh, 
um, I guess I, I try and huddle the group up and ask what everyone's thinking. Like, uh, do we want to bother asking around and maybe raising eyebrows, or do you want to just, you know, get the job done and then maybe we can press and or just go nah if the next thing she wants us to do are a bit too uh, funky. Yeah, I'm, I'm for not asking around. I'm, I, I'm getting the feeling that if we ask around, we might get followed out of here. Let's circumspect. I, I don't think they'll waste the time to follow us. T- <laughs> you know, I think mean? we'll world just get clubbed out of nowhere. So, well, actually, maybe this is a good time to go over what what you had in mind last time, Heretic. What what would, what were Bloombad's thoughts, vis a vis? I mean, out of character, I was thinking if, if we didn't get back there with the food, then she'd starve over the winter. Mm-hmm. But that's probably all, true. We took her trade goods. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't, as a, a character, my character wouldn't say that, you know what I mean? Like, I want to be clear, that's okay, by the way. So, like, you can, you know, I, I feel like in these games, you can propose something out of character, and it's not in character, if that makes sense. Uh, like, if there's a riddle or, or anything like this. So, but then if the group does it, that that might be a chaotic act, right? And we'll right. we'll cross that bridge when they get there. But go ahead, sorry. I just want to make that clear. That that's okay. Also, if we don't do it, I mean, if we do take areas of the stuff, then we can just teleport there, right? Between game sessions, good too. Yeah, I'm I'm partial to having the sanctuary, even if we don't end up using it too extensively. But I don't. I'm kind of doing that on speculation. I'm just, I just figure more resources give us more things where useful stuff might happen or, I, you know, I don't have a specific plan for it, but maybe down the line we'll run into a situation where suddenly it becomes very useful to have friends further south. I don't know how good they'll be as friends, though. <laughs> that I is beyond me to guess. At this Probably point, depends on the fourth and fifth I trust year. these barbarians more than the faceless, you know, breezes. At this point, you hear a noise. What kind of noise? Say more. Uh, a uh, sounded like a scream. Yeah, a a shrill screaming noise, and then and then more screams, and then some people running and tents being knocked over. I'm I'm gonna draw my sword. Okay. My mace. Uh, I will, um, I will sort of, you know, instinctively protect my charge. Uh, I'll shoulder a pole arm and circle around to the far side of the cart to make sure that we're not getting robbed while this is happening. Where, where's this coming from, and who's running? Is it like warriors running away, or is it just people? Um, it's uh, all sorts of people just running from things, and then eventually you see some huge, um, uh. I have to like how do I even describe it uh, it looks like a, uh, a one and a half times the size of a man with a huge maul covered in fur and fangs and long ears and uh, wolf like eyes and it grabs hold of one person and, and tosses them like a doll and another one just uh, crunches them in the chest with its maul and it's going around killing people you see that uh, on the far end of this village, bug juices people uh, start to leave the cave. Does this look like the thing that Krogon fought in single combat? No, uh, it's covered in fur, so it looks uh, it looks different. It looks weird. Does this look like the thing that I saw scouting out before, or was it too far away for me to tell? The silhouette does line up. Mm. Okay, fair enough. That's that's. Right. Are we are we in initiative yet, or are we allowed to move from where we're at? Or um, oh, battle plan. Yeah, what's the plan for the group? Do we want to fight, or do we want to just leave? Um, just I leave. think I have control over scumbags' token, but not mine. I'm I'm willing to to join a fight, but you guys don't have to stand on the front lines if you don't want. You should have control of both now. Leave the three mercs to guard the wagon. Other thoughts? Yeah, uh, if you move up, I'll move up with you with my bow out. Uh, Likewise, friend. 
Okay. Your token are, for the are there are there objections to that? Because that's kind of a bold a bold play for me to force people into. Well, well I'm in support. You say no, no. I can I can what? plank with arrows and stuff. So he's what, like ten feet tall? Uh, these are probably seven to eight feet tall things. Oh. Let's go get them. How many? Uh, there are probably a half dozen on the far end of the village, just like tearing cool. stuff up, dragging people, killing people, um, grabbing things. Yeah. Half a dozen. Okay. Uh, I will. I will strictly instruct the mercenaries to stay with the cart. No one steals a thing while we're gone. And then we'll head off. Or I'll, I'll head off after whoever else is in, in the lead. Yeah, we'll so, see. okay. So the plan is the fight. Well, if that's the case. Mm -hmm. You find this is probably what would happen by the time that that happens. So first of all, Bug Juice's people uh, join in combat with them, um, and then you make it just behind Bug Juice's people within range. Um, so that's the first thing that would happen. You can move your tokens wherever they would be in the the order of battle as you move up. Um, people are running past you and screaming and all this kind of stuff's going on, and um, you can. If anybody's going to do a spell, you can hold it. Let me know at the end of the turn. Uh, and then, let's see, uh, Bloombad, roll for initiative. That's D6, right? Yeah. No. Um. Uh oh, okay, they go first. All right, so I'll just reserve, uh, resolve both of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifteen. 15. He's known for. Um, Alright, so, Paleoc, you've got a pole arm? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of beefy. I'll, I'll get up front. Okay. Uh, you see uh, Bug Juice uh, screaming, and and uh, her people start yelling, and they run into combat, and they're fighting. Uh, and it creates this, um, I'm just going to create kind of like a jumbled mess, uh, is probably what you're going to be dealing with here. Um, and actually, uh, probably this many of them, like, it'd be like this. And then these two try to flee. I'll deal with that in a second. But you see that several of them just run. And they just flee. Alright, and you are able to uh, to act. Is the eye patch one like them, or is that a human? Uh, the eye patch one is like them, except that it has an eye patch. I mean, uh, I think the eye patch one is like still in range of the longbow, right? Yep, and they're not you in melee measure. either, so you can. Uh, All right. Should be okay. Yeah, you could fire uh, two times toward that person if you wanted. Ooh. And we should just go ahead and roll. Yeah, is there, um, in yep. range of a short bow. Uh, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say yeah. So you, anybody firing? Um, first of all, if you fire. To be clear, if you fire at anything here, you have a good chance of hitting Bug Juice and her people and your people. So, you know, but if you're firing at the ones that are fleeing, you can go ahead and do that. Roll to attack and, and for damage. Anyone moving up into melee can roll to attack and, dam and for damage as well. And I'll, uh, I'll shoot at a fleeing. Does a 12 hit? Um, and you have to hit um, for the ones in melee. An armor class 14. For the ones with the arrow, an armor class 15. Alright, so I do 3 damage to Eye Patch Man. Go. 3 damage to Eye Patch Man. Okay. This is going to say darts, but it's the bow. Gotcha. Um. Does um, Julius have hold person or anything? He could cast on the fleeing ones. Um, 
Do you yell that over the din of battle uh, and announce that you have a magic user and a sorcerer? Uh, I'm not going to yell that. I mean, I probably would have said that to Eulis before I moved forward. Oh, Eulis. Oh, yeah. Um, Eulis, he, he's like, uh, no, uh, I think that the, the time for, uh, I think the time has come to actually use our weapons, my, my brother, and he, he runs forward to try to join the battle as well. Uh, what do we need to hit? Uh, if you're in Should melee, 14 or 15. you have to hit an armor class 14. If you're using an arrow, it's 15. Oh, okay. I miss. Okay. Um, yeah. Did anyone else uh, hit and how much damage? Sticks on whoever is the furthest left. Okay, how much? Six. Six, okay, sorry. All right, and then, uh, yeah, you, you, what are you using, a, a sword? It's a polearm. Okay, a polearm. You use your polearm and drive it into this thing, and it just snarls at you and pulls the polearm out of its flesh. Um, and uh, anybody else? Yeah, there it is there. Okay, uh, yeah, I see that. Eight. Uh, which one are you attacking? Uh, leftmost one. The leftmost one. So is that... Uh, same one I just attacked. The same one. Okay. Uh, describe how you kill it. Ox. Uh, upwards through the ribcage into the heart with a with a, thrust, a simple thrust. He gives that look of defiance to Kellick, but then you come through and you, you do that afterwards and it silences him and slides off your blade. Anyone else uh, hit? I also rolled for the mercenaries. They were able to attack with their pole arms. No? Okay. In that case, Bloombad, roll a d6 for initiative. Three. You are able to act first. And uh, at okay, this point... I'm gonna shoot the, the guy who's trying to run again. Alright, I think at this point... Let's see here. Uh, missile weapons. A longbow can do 70 feet. An interesting thing here. Shooting beyond this range is at minus two. So at this point, you can do a minus two, and this will be the last turn you can shoot him. Oh, was well, he moving? Yeah. I, I can't. It's kind of abstract. I can't depict that. But yeah, there's a... Uh, he is fleeing. Nice. All right, and if if yeah, everybody can roll to attack and roll for damage. If that's the plan. So one of the hits. Does Bloombad have any orders? No, yeah, I mean, uh, just attack. I mean, we're, we're, there's like two left to kill, right? I'm um, out. I would have thought this would have gone quite differently. I'm just worried that we're violating a rule by taking their kill stealing from them. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Anybody else? No? Okay. Well, uh, these things uh, find that they're unable to, um, uh, to flee, really. So they're just going to try to fight to the death. Um, and uh, so one of them's going to try to attack. Um. That's it. It can't uh, can't hit that. Oh my gosh! My yeah, monsters. if it hit with a two, I'd be terrified. You know what I mean? <laughs> my monsters. Dice That's those things that are like plus plus fourteen to attack. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Nope, nothing to that either. So he's. Um, they both miss, and then they're all gonna just pile on and attack these uh, these things. Wow. Two, three, four. Four. I'm impressed. These barbarians. Right. They could scrap. Uh, one, two, Who three, would four. The, the warrior people. The six, warrior. seven. I mean, I would have thought that the eight, eight to ten foot tall warrior people might have done a little better. Um. Yeah, it's like way less of them. 
Okay. Um, at this point, uh, the uh, these have fled. Oops! Come on. And uh, these two, the re the the barbarians, they just hack them down. And uh, one of them, one of the barbarians, just like um, chops its head off and raises it up up in the air and just roars like ah like that. And they all cheer and everything. And uh, they start dragging the bodies back uh, into the cave. And um, they uh, they just cheer and pat you on the back as they go. Ooh. Morning. <laughs> you could, <laughs> yeah, This it is morning, by the way. This is one of the first things that happens after you wake I'm up. I'm going to quietly clean my blade off of this spell. Yeah, I'll wipe the blood on the ground. Well, a bracing start to the day. Um, yeah, so let's see. I'm going to move back to this. And um, you can see as they head back to the cave, bug juice in the form Jotter tongue is yelling at another one of the barbarians, maybe one of the lieutenants. Can I ask my buddy friend to translate? Like, you know, tell me what's going on. He uh, he listens as you walk back, kind of eavesdrops, and then uh, as you pass the cave and kind of go back to wherever you found a place to to sleep for the night, he uh, he where your equipment and your carts are. Uh, he says, uh, mules. He says, um, yeah. Um, she was telling one of her lieutenants not to rejoice that this was no victory uh, that uh, that <clears throat> just th th that they were able to get past their their outposts and make it into the into the village and fight is a failure uh, and that uh, they can't keep going like this uh, I mean by the looks of it that might have just been a scouting party <laughs> uh -huh. uh, I mean, we could follow them. We could get on their trail. You have horses, right? Um, but the party's got horses now. Or is well, it just almost the cart? But yeah. I have a horse. Yeah, but I think one or two of us have horses as well. So, I mean, uh, I can I can track, so we can we can follow them if we want to do that, but. down. What's everybody else think? Are, are we okay if we leave the cart behind? Leave our mercenaries with it, right? Kogan's here. Well, we can we can offer it up to bug oh, you. You know, we can say, hey, look, we will we'll go track down your enemies. And uh, you look after our shit until we return. Yeah, they got this whole theft thing, though, where they, like, you know, yeah, was, yeah, but if it's under if it's un, under bug juice's protection, then I go to steal it from under bug juice's nose without right. bug juice noticing. I wouldn't take that as a guarantee. Why wouldn't she just steal it from us? I don't. I don't yeah. have any indication that she's got any sense of honor. I think she's got a sense of might makes right. Not. She could have a sense of honor, but nothing has given me any indication that that's true. And I don't want to throw away a bunch of money on that. Good point. That's a perspective. I could be wrong. Have they seen us fight? They have, but I think they, that doesn't like discourage them. They don't just say, ah, you're good, you're one of us. Like They try to steal stuff from you and you prove yourself every day is the impression that I got. So, uh, Chris, because maybe somebody would have told you this by now. They have this a lot of like rules here, but they're not like written rules. And one of the things in their culture is if you can get by with stealing, it's a good thing. But if you get caught stealing, it's expected that the person that is being stolen from must kill the thief. So a thief is always rewarded if they're successful. But 
that doesn't have any bearing on. I'm not. I'm not telling you. I'm not trying to lead Drell's decision in this. I'm just. I, I was just telling Chris that that's something that's going on, so he knows what's going on with this. Well. Yeah. So why, what's wrong with leaving the mercenaries? I'm not sure they'll be enough. Good point. Good point. We need them for the for the way, huh? Well, uh, why don't we just go ask? Why don't we? Why don't we find out first whether or not she actually wants us to do this job? If not, I don't see how it's our business. If we're not going to get paid uh, well, for I was it. just thinking um, we don't they get attacked again. It's a decent outpost down here, but I just like these barbarian people. They're they're less weird than what's going on at the end. <laughs> I don't have too much to compare them to as yet. So That's maybe we should just, uh, maybe we'll just, uh, we should just go deliver this food, but then uh, we probably want to check back in down here to make sure that they haven't been eradicated by uh, whatever those furry things were, Sasquatches. I'm, I'm kind of in the in the same frame of mind, like, let's just get rid of this food. Yeah, it's going to bog us down. Um, Mike, what are you thinking? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of in favor of getting yes. this food off of, I mean, it, it could, it also, you know, I, I don't know what kind of food this is, but it could rot, it could go bad, it could get stolen. Right. Have we been, have, have you all been paid for this yet? Uh, we're not getting paid. <laughs> we're getting paid, and getting paid. when we deliver it, we get to eat for free. It, what we're bringing back is seed and, you know, oh. agrarian oh, supplies. So it, so it makes our life easier here. Yeah, if we decide to stick uh, it around makes life to easier the place we're delivering it. Mm -hmm. Well then. You can support a more affordable uh, I like food. I don't have too much of it left myself, so... Makes sense to me. Do we want to ask Bug Juice? I liked that suggestion, ask, asking her at least if they... Maybe they have some information about where these guys are. These people, if what you say is true, that she was concerned with the future, surely she thinks more than the average barbarian. But She's also, pretty clever, we were told. We may have some information as to where they're to be found. You, you, you scouted. You saw where they were. Perhaps there are layers nearby. Yeah, I got a mark on my god awful map. Well, then let's see if we can make ourselves of value to our hosts. Um, a vote then. Um, so far though, I'm hearing uh, three, four uh, to one as far as going back, delivering the supplies back. I mean, it sounded like we had a consensus on doing that. The question is whether we want to also try to get some info from Bug Juice on oh, these. Okay. Or sell her info. There's a reward. Yeah. You know, I, I, gather information, I guess. All right. Pick up a side job. Okay, Father Boo. We probably going to do anyway. Who do you uh, Who do you select to go and uh, speak with Bug Juice, knowing that Krogon's not available? We have the one, the wizard speaks her language, right? The wizard does uh, speak her language, yes. Well, Buck Juice also speaks common, right? She speaks a broken common, yes. You want to send I the mean, wizard? Mark, I mean, one of us should get also, I mean, can all of us go? Or? Yeah, you can all go, yeah. But who's who's doing the talking, right? Yeah, what do you want to say? So you go in, uh, th this is what happens. So you all go in, let me make sure that I understand. You all go in the cave? I'm not going to go, just in case something comes up with the light. I'm, oh. I'm going to stay with the mercenaries. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll go. Yeah. I'd, like to, I'd like to see this lady a little closer. Um, all right. Uh, so everybody else goes? Okay. So um, you enter the cave. Um, a bunch of the uh, uh, these people are... You, they, they look like what uh, like you would imagine. When I say barbarian, I mean they've painted their faces. They wear furs. Um, they're drinking from horns. 
uh, there, uh, some of them are singing and, uh, you know, recounting the deeds of battle. This is something that they have loved, that they, uh, that they got to do at least a little bit of battle in the morning. And um, Bug Juice, on the other hand, you can easily pick out as a woman also with a face painted uh, and uh, wearing furs and uh, animal parts. She sits on a stone throne on the far end of this cavern space. Uh, she's uh, sitting on it and uh, speaking with one of the, the lieutenants um, as you enter. That's what you see. The, well, let's, uh, yeah. Their response to you is cordial. They basically, after after they saw what Krogon did, Krogon, by the way, Chris, yesterday um, killed their their largest warrior in single combat, um, and so um, they're they're already pretty favorable to you. And now they're just like they saw you enter enter the fray and in, in, into battle with these things, and they saw uh, in particular um, Ox just like skewer one of them. And so they're just like slapping you on the back and offering you things to drink, even though you can't understand them. I'll take a drink. It's tastes horrible. Tastes horrible. Uh, it's got stuff in it floating in it too, but, um, but it does, it, but it is alcoholic. Yeah. Ooh. Good thing I got a good constitution. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's stride on over to uh, her ladyship. Who's going to do the talking? I always vote Rogarius. He hasn't let us down yet. Yeah. Last time I tried to negotiate with someone, I got stabbed in the back and in the front. So I'm off that for a bit. Okay. Um, very well. Uh, you do have with you uh, Tag, uh, the scribe, so um, he can... He can speak, but also Bug Juice does speak common. Uh, what do you do, Regarius? Uh, so uh, I okay. So I say to Bug Juice, um, looks like a pretty nasty raid on your camp. She stops looking at her lieutenant and glares at you. Uh, and then she says something in Fjornjartr to her, her lieutenant. Um, Doesn't look like she likes you. Who? Who did this? Uh, she says, um, <clears throat> Scar. Skull, the mutant, did this. I don't much like mutants. T tell you what, how about we uh, we uh, hunt these people down and uh, teach them some manners? <laughs> you go and fight Skull. Sure. In his fortress against 30 mutants. Sure. <laughs> when, when you go, I want to send uh, Scout to watch you die. It'll be entertaining. We'll sing songs yeah. of your death. We'll probably uh, head out uh, pretty soon here. Oh. Ah, oh, I'll send Scout right. with you with one horse we have. Their watch can collect your skulls if you want. If there's any uh, left. Sure. I look, I look at Rogarius and back he at my new, and, and back at my new <laughs> <Yet>. companions. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, does he speak for all of us? I, I'm just speaking. If you want to speak up, feel free. Why don't we ask for a week? We have some supplies to deliver. We don't want to do this with our cart, you know? Oh, okay. Teller will be back in a couple of days. Then we'll um, head out. 
Okay, I thought we were delivering the supplies here. Oh no, we're delivering. No, no, no. We're... We traded timber for food here, and now we're yeah. returning. Oh, okay. We got, oh, so we we got someone to sell this to. We're, we're going back to Anne's, right? No, mm -hmm. no, no. We're not we've going got... back to anyone by any name. We're just we're just humble merchants. She All says, right. "Yes, yes. Being being farmer makes it very hard to do battle." <laughs> and then they all start laughing at you. Uh, that's right. Grain makes you weak, guys. Do your CrossFit. <laughs> um, um. Gosh, I wish Kro Krogar was here. Uh, well, where I believe is, in you. Where's the head that was chopped off? I guess the Krogon's, the Krogon's part. Um, did, did that big guy have a name? You didn't uh, earn that skull. You don't get the head. Uh, what was the guy's name? Loth? The big guy, Loth? Olaf, I think. Olaf? And so, well, you know, if, uh, if they're anything like Olaf, I don't think we'll have much trouble. Never let us down. Where is your Where is your champion? Do you want to fight one of my warriors? It would be entertaining. It would improve my mood. We are all champions here. I, in our own right. I'm gonna. We're gonna deliver this stuff. And then uh, we're going to go chase down some mutants because uh, that's going to be more of a worthy challenge, I think. Let me know so I can send someone to, uh, 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 what's it called? Um, uh, what are the Nordic uh, people that write songs about people? Skull. Skull. Scald. Scald. Let, yeah. let me know so I can send a skull to to watch your watch you die. It would be very entertaining. Don't want to miss it. Good luck, farmers. And then she goes back to talking in front jaw to the uh, to her uh, to her lieutenant. So a near perfect record, then. <laughs> I I consider that untarnished. <laughs> he didn't get us killed. <laughs> That's a win. Uh, compared to my record, he's he's like four for oh or four for four. I'm I'm like over oh one. Okay, uh, Father Bloombad, what's the next step? Uh, do we know where his castle is. Did she tell you that? Um, you could use uh, ox. Uh, do you want to? Uh, if if you ask, uh, they freely tell you. They say that his castle is. Uh, uh, it's. <clears throat> Let me make sure I don't get this wrong. Although, I, I mean, I think I know, but I haven't looked at it in a week, so let me look at it real quick. But they'll tell you. Right, we're going to take the food back first, though, right? We're not going to go assault a oh, castle with yeah. a cart full of food. Uh, they say it's probably a week's journey to the south across a river. Oh, holy cow. W when have we heard that before? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. A week. In what direction is this place we have to go to deliver the food? East. Northeast. East. And it's not a week. It'll be like three days unless we hit complications going east. Which we might. But if it's smooth, we get there pretty fast. Did we not... Pardon me for confusing the issue, but... Should we not hunt down the three mutants? One at least was wounded. If they have a week to get back to safety, we could come on them in the night if we have a tracker amongst us. Much better if they don't get back. But that also takes us uh, takes them out, us out of the way of getting okay. food well, back. It was just an idea, but it seems. Oh well, so be it. Carts are carts are real slow. That's my only concern. Yes, yes, no. It is what it is. I uh, just saw a potential advantage. 
The cart will be lighter because it's hauling food instead of timber this time, so we might even make better time. And perhaps we could even cut cut them off if we uh, if we're fortunate. Okay. Um, all so right. We, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Do we want to go east, or do we want to go chase those three? Let's go. Let's deliver the food. Yeah. Sounds as though it was a sworn uh, duty. Uh, I would like to give chase, but I think that we have to deliver the food first, just to unburden ourselves. Let's do that. Yeah, it's just too big a risk. If something happens to it, won't we otherwise occupy trying to do some shit or, you know. Agreed. Because I might not trust Anne, but there's a bunch of people living at that, you know, the place that haven't really done anything creepy. They're just underhand creepy people. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, you depart uh, through the mountain pass out of the barbarian camp with your mules and those on horseback on horseback. Um, remind me, I think we're at base movement rate nine. Is that what uh, we have as far as people management, people's management of their armor and equipment and stuff right now? Can't we yes. put the heavier people on the car or yeah. Or something. Uh, yeah, you could do that. Um, yeah, actually, who's got the heavy armor? Father Bloomberg? Silver or neon gray? And myself. Okay. I'll say two people can fit on the cart. Would that fix it? Um, or would somebody need to take their armor? It's off? the mercs. There's three oh, mercs who yeah. are at 90 or nine. There are slow ones. So if you want to put that I, on wish, the cart, I wish we were chaotic and we could just be like, well, we've got to cut the loose hat. <laughs> no, joking. Now you could. Uh, Put the mercs on the horses and then put two people on the cart and that'll work but then you won't have your horse if you need it if something happens it will happen okay but but maybe I mean, that's maybe if we guys, get there faster you're the ones who have the horses what do you think father uh bloom dead uh well, i'm wearing chain mail and shield is chain considered heavy or is that medium heavy okay well i'm on my war horse then okay you have two other horses, so yeah, I think it's base movement right nine. Okay, okay, so uh, the f you depart the uh, oh, I forgot to mention it is um, for you all because you're not in one for one time currently. Lunasa the 19th of Fomhar on Tuesday, um, and um, the as you start to depart, uh, the first thing that happens is that a cold gentle misty rain swells up around you and um, it uh, reduces your visibility and it also becomes colder When you depart the mountain pass, you can see out in front of you there's this uh, this um, open area for about a mile or so, three quarters of a mile or whatever. And then on the other side, it's just woods. What do you do, Father Bloombad? What do you all uh, do? We want to uh, maybe not leave until tomorrow, see if the weather clears up, or do we want to go? So I think we best depart. We'll just be. Uh, I'll. I'll keep an eye out for, like, uh, like I think we should still just travel, but I want to keep an eye out for any um, big footprints, you know, humanoid ones, just in case there's uh, those uh, uh, things that we saw before. I think it was around here, right? I'm not gonna. Run. Sure. Yeah. Uh, don't let me forget that. Actually, go ahead and make a. No, no. You automatically do that. You see their tra their tracks. Um, and uh, you can see that their tracks are leading off to uh, to the south by southwest. Um, yeah. And is it getting to the time of day where we're gonna 
we gonna need to rest soon, or have we got another? Uh, it's currently just like just past morning, uh, or late in the morning. Uh, the other thing I was gonna ask: Does everybody have a water skin and food? We, we just eat hunted up wagon. three days worth of food before we came here. Uh, yeah, we used that up. Hey, we can just How eat off the wagon. That right? up? We just have our days for everyone. Now. Yeah, it was three days for everyone, but that got that we did that on like the the second day of travel, I believe, and we traveled like five days in total to get that. Because I remember I I started marking off my actual rations by the end of it. I. I, can pull I tallied that pretty differently. We we spent a day hunting, and then we got here later the same day. Uh, well, that's okay. We'll say that you do have three days worth of food from hunting. It would feed everyone. As far as the wagon, um, except for um, except for uh, Ox, who does not yeah. have that. Okay. As far as the I wagon, uh, this is like, um, and I'll even uh, generously say, that you have made it to where this will be waterproofed and, and has been covered, a covered wagon, uh, if if an improvised one, uh, and that this is like uh, grain. Uh, so like to, 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 to take it, the wagon, and uncover it and then just eat raw grain and mill it. Um, you could. I have rations. I have five days of rations. Oh, okay. So everybody does have food. I didn't get much. But yeah, I do have <laughs> Okay. I, got, I, I got enough that I could survive a few days. I, I will say you can use the, the food in the cart, but I will also say that there could be a consequence of dragging an open cart in the rain and mist and mud for three days that uh, it gets exposed. Yeah, I mean, I still have 10, 10 days myself. Oh, okay. So we're, we're good. I just want to make sure. Okay. Um, I've had it two or three times now where somebody's like, oh wait, I was supposed to have a water skin and then it's like, oh crap, you're, <laughs> you're two days into the wilderness. So I just want to bring it up. All right, here we go. Um, and the first thing, uh, so, uh, well, first, where are you headed from where you are, Father Bloomberg? We want to follow the same basic route back as we can, right? I mean, I will defer to our, our, our ranger on this subject since that's his area of expertise. I mean, in, I might be a ranger in character, but I'm a dumbass out of character. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're just going north, right? Northeast, right? Oh. Should yeah, just north. be due east toward the the shallow part of the woods. I posted a map. Um. Okay. Um, well, you start heading into the woods. Solos, roll a d6. Do you have any features related to uh, not being surprised? Yeah, if it, it, I am, we're only surprised if I roll a one. That's the, it's um, only one in six chance of us ever being surprised if I'm looking around. Um, this, uh, you are very lucky that you have a ranger with you. Uh, as you see, as you start to travel into the woods, sure enough, uh, Solos, you can see just the slight movement around a tree like you you see like the 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 sharp claw and and, and then furry surface of something around the edge of a tree and then it slips back and you realize as you look up you can tell that three of these massive half horse sized spiders are up in the trees about to pounce they're uh, about to, yeah. Uh, yeah I'll say above you they're about uh, twenty feet away, up and in, up into the trees. If you continue, in yeah, I'll shout, course. "Watch out!" to everybody. Okay. Father Bloombad, what is what do you all do for the group? I'm hoping to prepare my missile weapon. I mean, uh, if we can get, to, are they right above us, or they're twenty feet away? So I mean, like twenty feet away, up in the trees. Okay, well, I mean, I'll prepare my sling. So it's fighting. Gotta weaken them up. I mean, is everybody down with fighting? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'll I mean, I, I think we should front. try and get out of the way. 
if they're directly above us, 20 feet, that means they can just drop onto us. Oh, yeah. I, I think we should still spend the first round, like, <laughs> pulling ass out of the way. You've, I've, I'm sorry, 20 feet. That's probably not a good... I should have said maybe 20 yards. Like, they're ahead of you and up in the trees. Like, waiting oh, for okay. you to get there. That's They're waiting for I you see. to get there, yeah. Uh, I thought it was much more terrifying. I thought Sorry, it, would, it yeah. was like I just realized that they're right they're above us. No, yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry, no. Yeah. Does that change anything, or are you all still gonna you're still gonna fight these things? Oh yeah. In which case, I'm jaw draw my bow. God, uh, like I thought I was. It was more of a like, oh, I don't want to be in this column of death. Like, because <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, Ox, you do not want to get hit by these things at all. So I hope you have good armor class. Okay. Should be able to get two to three rounds of uh, missile fire on them before they get to us, right? Hands on. I don't remember outdoor movement, but we'll get at least one, and that should be plenty to get us started. I hope we get one. That'd be awesome. Just focus fire on the closest one. Yeah. You got it. Okay. Um, if we are fighting, then uh, Father Bloombad, you I mean, can yeah, roll these for things initiative. are called, called like Promethean jumping spiders, I think. Yeah. Grace. That's good. Simultaneous. Um, I'll let the house take it. You guys can act first. Anyone who doesn't want to be up in the melee up front, get behind me. Uh, the mercenaries gladly do so. I'm gonna uh, launch the arrows. Mm -hmm. I can't find my counter. I'll volley away, guys. Uh, you right. have to beat an ascending armor class 13. Oh, can you, is my I counter in there? No, oh, it's can't. not. Yeah. Sorry. No, let me fix that. Okay, and you also need for... Okay, now you should be able to control your token. Yeah, you made them small. There you go. It makes it easier to hide behind other people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you, you, Eulis has a sling also, right? Eulis does have a sling, yes. Uh, let's see here. Give me a second. I'm doing a bunch of math and all kinds of stuff. Okay. 8, 12, 11, 2, 13. We need to get these mercenaries some pole arms. They do have pole they arms. They have pole arms. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah. Okay, so um, I've got uh, that uh, fair car uh, unleashed a, a volley with his uh, bow. I've got uh, Uillis attacked with a sling. Um, oh, and I missed the, uh, the damage. Uh, that was... 6 and 8 is 14, plus 2 is 14. So he manages to kill one of them uh, with uh, between uh, Faircar and uh, uh, Uellis. Did anyone else hit an Ascending Armor class 13? Got one hit with 4. I think plenty of people have still the roll, right? Oh, we're not in melee yet. Yeah, so just 4 damage on top of whatever else you had. Okay. All right, and then uh, let's see. Uh, is everybody else holding their turn until they get within melee? Um, I launch missiles, or well, yeah, missiles and mist. Okay. All right. So uh, the uh, I think they're gonna do a morale check, and I'm gonna say at a plus two, just out of the confusion. A six and a two and eight. On my screen, it looks like your D6 is cocked. Yeah. Eight. Uh, they fail, and the remaining two flee into the wilderness. I'll even say that you can fire again, but you will. You are losing arrows, and they are like the most valuable. They're more valuable than gold right now. 
Yeah, I'm not shooting again. You fire with the twice. sling, one damage. Uellis is a peaceful man, so he doesn't do that. He doesn't fire. Yeah, I'll I'll let him go, and once it looks like they're gone, we'll go up to recover arrows, best as we can. All right, uh, anyone who fired arrows can roll a d100 for your percentage of arrows. Um, oh, well, I've never done that. I've just, like, lost every single arrow that I've got. I didn't realize we were allowed to recover. And there's all my luck at once. Six, so I get uh, two arrows back. All right. Um, and then you're able to make it onto the other side of, uh, of the forest. You break the forest into the open fields. You can see, even in the mist, that hill. Uh, that, you know, on the near side of the hill is where all those, that nest of spiders was. And you killed all the spiders, then there were the other spiders. Um, and by that time, night falls. Um, do you all keep uh, marching, try to do a force march, or uh, do you stay the night in the mist, in the rain? I mean, should we camp? Uh, can um, our ranger find us a good camping spot? Yes, he can. Yes, camping is better than forced march. Okay. No particular urgency, is there? Other no, than I don't think so. Being surrounded by monsters, no. Um, okay, so watches and whatnot. You, uh, Solos is deftly able to find a uh, a rock, an overhang, uh, and you're able to get some. You pull the mules and the cart into where the overhang is, uh, the stone. Uh, and um, uh, able to even kind of set up a defense and even stay dry, at least relatively so. I'll do my checks. And uh, just as you try to settle in for the night. Uh, so lost, you can roll a d6 again. You know what? At least I might miss all my attacks, guys, but at least I'm never surprised. <laughs> that's, this is, that's a real important... The, the, I, I, what other things I love... I, I, I'm, I, look, I, this is who I am. Uh, the whole I don't like 5e thing. But like in 5e, a ranger is worthless. In this game, they're almost overpowered. Like they're like just just. Constantly. What do you mean almost? I have two D eight hit dice. I'm level one. It's uh, it's bonkers. But then you know you also had to have a character die and had to roll really crazy high stats to get it. So, anyways. Yeah, I did. I just it's luck. Um, I don't know if you noticed, Chris, but the rules say that you can only have one ranger in the game. It said, actually, I think it says like until you, I get to level eight. <laughs> Yeah, but, I mean, which is perfectly reasonable. Yeah. Um, so um, it's simulating something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's rules like that for druids and all kinds of stuff. Anyways. I don't, I don't mind that stuff. Yeah. No, no, it's cool. Because it has to do with the setting. Um, and uh, actually, Scumbag and I have talked and worked all that out and everything. Okay, so this is what happens. This is the second time this has happened, because this happened on the trip here. Solos, once again, you identify a nest of these things. Now, fortunately, probably Solos is doing his creepy uh, thing where he's like, I'll take watch. And you're standing out there and you see it. And sure enough, you can see that there's a nest of these spiders crawling out from the trees and and um, uh, and stuff. Yeah. In the underbrush away from the cave. Uh, they are um, 120 yards away. Okay. How far can a longbow shoot in yards? Uh, in this game, it sucks. So I'll say that you can do it, but it's at a minus two. You can okay. do 140, I think, feet up to minus two. I'll okay. just see if I can scare them off by loosening a couple arrows at, at one of them and seeing if it, you know, All right. sinks into it. Because, you know, before one of them died and then they just broke it off. Maybe I don't have to disturb anyone's sleep. Okay, you start loosing arrows, and they do. They skitter off in the dark. You don't seem to notice them. I think that misses, but either way, they do seem to scare off. And uh, as your watch continues, um, 
you don't notice anything else. And then the sun rises uh, after the final watch of the night. And uh, it remains a dull, misty rain outside. Just like a, you know, just a misty rain. It's just like muggy and misty everywhere. And Yeah, yeah. yeah. You and still end up soaked, even though it doesn't look like... <laughs> Yeah, it's just like the air is saturated with moisture everywhere. And it's muddy outside. What do you all do? Just, uh, go ahead and you, gotta, you can guarantee our course, right? We just head east and start heading slightly north of that as we go. Okay. So, sounds good. Maybe not north. We'll see once we get out. I think your main choices miles. is you you have the forest to your left from where you are. Uh, you have the, the hill, or you could try to circumnavigate the hill and head east. Those are kind of your options. I mean, we definitely came from this way. Yeah. But, I mean, I figure we go around the hill. It should be easier travel. Okay. All right, and then night falls. You're actually more like here. Well, I can't even show you, but you're like halfway between them. Yeah, but yeah, okay. um, uh, so you won't you won't move next time, but you are um, with the mud. Uh, but night falls, and uh, let's see how it goes. All right, and then the uh, the sun rises. You set a watch. You're not interrupted. Uh, I think this is the third day, right? Third day. Yep. So everybody should that have... That was our second night, and this is the third morning. All right, so everyone will have marked off three rations by now. Um, and... Uh, well, we've slept two nights, right? Yeah. This is the third morning. Do we eat... Or do we mark off a ration at the beginning of the day? I mean, up to you, but... Before the start of the next day, uh, if you don't have any rations left or you haven't eaten one, just let me know. Or if you don't have access to clean water or a water skin. Um, anyways. Let's see. So, Loss, you can roll a d6. Okay. Uh... Yeah, so <clears throat> once again, uh, you see a, as you're setting up camp, you see a nest of spiders. You realize that this entire countryside is probably infested with these things, small colonies of them. Uh, one of these days, we're going to need to strike at the source of these bloody things. They're everywhere. Are these the half horse size ones? Mm hmm. Yeah, you know, the little ones. The little ones. <laughs> Ross, this is about a, <laughs> 120 feet, 120 <laughs> yards away is where you see this nest. All right. Do we want to? Do you guys want to ride around it, or do you want to kill some spiders? Uh, well, we're camping, so it's near our camp. We might want to get rid of them. Does your wizard friend know a way to deal with you know a mob of them? I don't think I've told anyone he's a wizard because of uh, how everyone seems to react to arcane stuff. Good thing, too. You better watch out. Regarius will kill him on the spot. He hates wizards. Uh, oh, wait. I do? <laughs> I don't know. Do you? No. Oh. Because it's Krogon hates yeah. wizards. I'm a nice, lawful guy. How many do we think there are? You see a nest of at least four. four. Yeah. Four ain't bad. Good night. Well, it's up to you men with the bows. How much do you want to risk your arrows? I've only got 12 arrows left, and I'm, I'm not a very good shot. If somebody's a better shot, perhaps you should take my arrow. <laughs> I mean, that dex is my best stat. Well, along with constitution. How many uh, arrows do you have? 
I got 24 left, but I've, n I've never uh, rolled the, the recovery roll until now. I didn't realize it was a thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I haven't been trying to recover my arrows. I also did not know that was a thing. Yeah, we, we, we've got arrows, guys. Don't, don't worry about that. But, I mean, yeah, if, if needs must, we can take him down. Yeah. Oh, it's just group consensus. <clears throat> I say better to be rid of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When they attack us in the middle of the night. Okay. I'll take a shot. Let them at least not know that they're secret. Or rather, let them know that they're not secret. Alright, this will be done at minus two. And uh, if that's the case, Fergus will also. Or Fergar, I mean, he misses. 22 to hit, just a little bit. Um, mm, it's it's a 20 after the minus two. <laughs> and it's not natural. Um, zip, you hit into one, it squilches. <laughs> and um, it, uh, it angers them, and they start rushing towards you all. All right. Well, yeah. let's get ready. How far off are they? One twenty. Yeah, you've got some time for sure. I'd say that you have uh, for an outdoor combat around before they can even get to you. Okay. Yeah. In which case, I'll, I'll do uh, this next round as well. Then I'll call for a volley from the mercenaries as well. Okay. Uh, the let's see. The first thing we'll do then is uh, Father Bloombad roll a d6 for initiative. This will decide whether or not they can move on this turn and whether you get two attacks or not. Trace. Trace. All right. Yeah, you all can attack. I'll attack with the mercenaries. I'm going to spend a round. Uh, spend this round lighting a torch. Okay. Uh, gosh, it would be. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, and we'll be wielding a bastard sword in one hand and a torch in the other. I'm starting to think my bow is bent. <laughs> it is. It's just there. <laughs> Arrows fly into the wilderness. Uh, you hear squilching. Uh, one, of the, one of the spiders falls from the trees and curls up dead uh, as the mercenaries take it down. Um, Kellick, uh, you missed. Regarius, you hit. Those the... are minus one. Oh, minus uh, two on this turn, yeah. Plus some, minus one would be minus three if you had another minus one. Uh, so loss. Yeah. Um, oh, shit, that was terrible. Um, actually, one of. Well, it doesn't matter. It'd be the same. Okay, so loss. Uh, minus uh, two hit 13. That makes it 11, which misses, and then the other one misses. So, oh, what, they still 120 feet away? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they... Cause you're oh, right, I thought they have gone closer. Yeah. Um, all right, and then that's what they do the next turn, is they try to get closer, and then the next turn they'll be able to attack. Um, and uh, you all can fire again if you want to. Or you can hold your turn for a melee attack at the end of the round. I'm going to set my pull arm for a charge. Is that a thing in the system? I looked and I do not see it. Uh, however, I will say that you can. Uh, yeah, no, that that's not in it. Uh, but let me think about it. Okay. I don't I think it would work for, for this. To I, I'm going to say it's not going to work for these uh, hibbity jibbity spider things and you know, hopping around the trees and stuff. Let's see here. Other bloom bad three damage. Okay. And Eulis will also fire his sling. Oh yeah, thank you. I uh, misses and um, the mercenaries. Do you want them to fire, or do you want to get them to get their pole arms out and attack at the uh, at the end of the the round? The latter. Okay. Wait a second. No, this is yes. Okay. Okay. So They'll yeah. reach us on their next that's move, right. right? Yeah, that's right. So okay, so they do that okay. then. 
All right, so they yeah, move they'll forward. They'll get up behind me. I'll take a step out. They'll uh, they'll be able to attack, but then the mercenaries will be able to attack with their pole arms right after that. Okay, so Solos does a uh, fourteen hit. Nope. All right, and then uh, one attacks Kellick. And 11, I'm pretty sure, does not hit. And then lastly, um, Ox. Uh, Ox does a 17 hit. Yes. Okay, save versus death. Is that on the sheet somewhere? So, uh, it's a 14 on a d20 is what you need if you're first fighter. Yeah, and I'll say that you can add uh, even a bonus I'll, you know, it's a. Uh, uh, I'll say that you could do a constitution if you have a constitution bonus, yeah. you can add it to it. I failed. You failed. A ten, you have to roll above it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. um, this uh, the spider uh, just nicks you, and then like uh, you, all your world spins, and then you just fall over the ground and lose consciousness, and uh, right. Ox is dead. Um, and let's see, that allows the mercenaries to attack. Um, one of them hits. Okay. Seven points well. of damage. Okay, uh, I and then... connect for two as well on one of them. You connected for two, okay. Does anybody else, um, you know, and, and uh, Regarius, you could move up and attack if you want. Um, or wait, no, you already fired. You fired an arrow. Yeah, okay. I shot an arrow. So. Um, I missed a fair car, I think. So, uh, but it would be the bottom one anyways. If it kills it, then, you know, take this back. 18 does hit and 11 hits. Maybe we can save him. I don't think so, though. Yeah, because he's got a... Um, he's a... Let me make sure. Mm, no, it wouldn't hit. Okay, so... Anyways, uh... Two. Well, it wouldn't have been enough to make a difference anyways. Okay. Alright, and then, uh... Father Bloombad, roll a d6 for initiative. Yeah. Six? Oof. All right, you are able to act first. And um, <clears throat> I don't know, do you have the BX information for your wizard, uh, Chris? Uh, well, <laughs> I'm just, uh, I was just pulling up his character sheet now, as a matter of Yeah, because I... Like, like I told you before, he's missing a strength score for some reason. I, I feel like... Anyways, I don't want to derail your combat here. You go ahead. I'll, I'll... Okay. Okay. Father Bloombad misses. Regarius with a longsword misses. Martin hits. They have more than one hit. Oh, yeah, I'll drop my uh, bow and attack this one in front have... of me, I guess. Okay. And yes, they do have more than one hit die. I think they might have more yeah. than two. A 13 hits for nine damage. Which one were you attacking? The one that's trying to kill. Help me. <laughs> oh, yeah, the one right in front of you? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that one, uh, describe how you kill it. Uh, yeah, I assume so. That's the one that tried to hit me. Yeah, d describe how you kill it. Uh, well, it tried to bite me, and I'll just uh, sort of, like, take a back step, unsheath my sword, and, you know, take its head off and clean uh, Krogon fashion. Nice. You do that. Um... Faircar hits with a, uh, a sneak attack, which uh, I get this mixed up with. This is one of the ones I get mixed up with this game and the other game all the time. Plus two. It does double damage, I believe. Right? Isn't it? Plus yes. four to hit. Oh, no. Double damage. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, in that case, uh, Faircar does that. I'll just roll and then double it. It's eight. So uh, he. Brings justice to Ox. 
And uh, did anybody else? Was anybody else able to attack? Uellis is going to try to. Um, um, he's going to try to start making his way around as well. And with that, he's going to make it probably in heavy armor. I don't know, like right there or so. Did the mercs get their swing? I think so. Maybe not. I see I'll initiative run. PCs. Yeah, ah, nice. Okay. Fear car. Thank you. Maybe they can wrap it up. One of them hits. Uh oh. One of them might have a broken pole arm. And. Yeah, actually, it's. <clears throat> snaps. Or uh, jabs into this one and kills it. It uh, shivers and then curls up on, on the pole arm. And he's got this thing on the pole arm and starts shaking it off in the mist. And then. Um, all right. You have a, uh, a dead person. Um, what do you. What do you do? Uellis, uh, he, he comes up to uh, to this person, obviously, and starts praying. I will assist. Uellis says, well, whatever risk it might uh, do to, to spoil the food, we have to put him on the wagon and cover him uh, to give dignity to the dead until we can get him back to Zelkor's Ferry, where he could be buried at a way shrine. I'm loath that he could be buried here among these barbarians. Uh, nobody is uh, too good for the ground that nourishes everything. We can't risk uh, the lives of many for the rotting corpse of one. Yes, I mean, we did leave mercenaries that died on the way here. You're right. Alongside the road. <laughs> the charge only grows larger for us to purify these grounds. Of bandits and monsters and spiders. Every other foul thing that's out here. Yeah, I uh, agree. But perhaps we can offer him a pyre when we return to Anne's fort and find his next of kin. He does have fine arms. And those should be put to service. By whoever comes to claim them. All right. Um, yeah. Yeah. I've also got uh, uh, two rations, I mean, two, we two should, trail it, rations, it, it and uh, horse. we should just chuck the corpse on a horse if we must take a corpse with us. I don't think we need to take it with us. We'll just strip the gear in case we meet somebody that you know can use it. Huh? No, I'll put them on the back of my horse. That's fine. Oh, you will? Okay. Yeah. And you said you have two uh, two rations. Two trail rations, nine torches, a crowbar, a rope, backpack. <laughs> we'll set his kit on the on the cart and the body <laughs> on my horse. Um, we can. Oh no! Actually, it looks like you got most of it done. Nice. Yeah, max hit points four. You got the attributes. Pick out a few spells. Uh, yeah, well, I, I, re I re-rolled my strength, because the strength was at zero for some reason, so I just rolled 3d6, got what I got. You're looking pretty beefy for strength, honestly. I know, but... Strong back. Oh, this... uh, yeah, hey, that's like my group one wizard, uh, with 18 strength. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this old man, you've seen plenty of these types, uh, just comes pouring out of the woods, um... You know, and uh, another refugee, which is uh, how you found yourself here, Magnus. From the Tomb of the Serpent Kings, you found yourself traveling to the far east of Albion and then in the midst of a war against ravenous pirates and driven into a monster-infested forest. And now here, as it seems like you're about to die, you now find these people. Greetings, oh. old one. Oh, well, well, rude. <laughs> but, uh, fair greetings. Where are you headed? Oh, yeah. Respite. 
at first, and then to gather my wits. Blumbad, if we space for one more, oh, go on. I was just going to say, if you can use any of this equipment, sir, feel free. Yes. Oh, well. Most kind. What are you saying, Martin? Blumbad, if we space for one more. It's Refugee, cool. last leg of our trip. Light can shine on one more. That would be so. Mercifully, the mists stop. Uh, the next day as the, uh, the sun in your journeys north and the mud in the muck slowly making it with this cart, um, the chance of spider nests all around you. Um, uh, the mists and the, uh, the rain stop, but the mud and the mugginess is still here. Um, and, uh, when you rest for the night, um, you find, uh, dark figures, um, so loss again on your watch, approaching from the east. It seems like there are. Oh, what uh, kinds of dark figures this time? Sp spiders again? Uh, they there are eleven humanoid figures in the dark. Oh great. Uh, okay. Can I ask um, my uh, how 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 far away are they? Oh yeah. And, uh, uh, do they seem to be approaching? They do seem to be approaching. Presence? Uh, and you you spot them um, a, a solid uh, two hundred and twenty yards away. Okay, I want to wake up um, you know everybody generally, but also uh, uh, my magic user buddy that I'm protecting, and ask him if uh, he knows um, that that one spell that makes people fall asleep. Oh uh, yeah, well yes, I do know a trick. Uh, that I could, I could, I could make them fall asleep. I think. Uh, well, I hope. It doesn't always work. Right, um, but well, yes, I understand. I understand where. Uh, on my word, um, and everybody, you know, get in position to, just in case it doesn't go right. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the uh, the figures approach. You finally identify that they are ragged peoples. Now. Um, uh, they're just humans. Uh, they're more refugees. Magnus, while you know that these people fled, they also tried to rob you, and you fled from these people. Um, while you recognize them, the others don't. They approach the group, and uh, they hold their hands up. Uh, please, please help us. Please. In the night. These just tried to rob me. Not four hours ago. Mm. Pray tell, is this true? Did you attempt to rob this old man? Uh, he's lying! What? We're all just trying to survive out here. There's 11 of would us. Would you swear food. on my soul that this is the truth? No, I would have no problem with that at all. Sure. Okay. You know what he does to people if he finds out they're lying? What? I know what I'll well, do if I get my hands on him. Now. Old man, uh, I'll lying. hold my sword out in front of him, uh, and I'll you know stare him in the eyes uh, as he swears on my sword if he if he'll dare to do it, uh, and um, you know, does it seem? I will just see. Yeah, he. He immediately starts to try to swear an oath on your sword, and you look in his eyes and can easily see that he's lying. Right. Uh, I, I draw my sword and just, like, I'll, I'll go to swing it, but then stop it by his neck. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, and he drops to his knees. Do you swear to cause no more trouble? I, I won't Don't bother. His word's worth nothing, Solas. Everyone deserves a second chance, but there won't be a third. Do you understand? Y yes. And you yes. should be getting nothing from us. Those who try to take do not deserve. So keep yourself alive, and I'll put my sword back in my sheath. Okay. Uh, uh, don't judge my companions by my actions. Can we at least follow you? 
Yes, but if you fall behind, you shall receive no help from me. Okay. And uh, they uh, they have almost like a little auxiliary camp they make just outside where you are in, in the, uh, the mud, uh, shivering and moaning and hungry. Well, I don't trust this situation at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we got enough people to set double watches. Two people yeah. per watch, we'll be okay. This game is less cheerful, isn't it, Chris? I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, no, it, <laughs> it's fine. No, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm... hey, Ross, you would have so much shit for me if Fantasy Britain was a nice place, right? Don't. <laughs> I'm glad you're not tainting it. So we we should have a like a uh, you, Ellis, and I take like second and third watches, so that we can cast light, you know, as a flashbang on them potentially, if and then uh, yeah. You know, Okay. And maybe your wizard friend should take one of the second or third watches also. I'll um I'll try to take watch with Magnus and get his story from him, though he can tell us whenever. Yeah, there's some math I'm doing at the moment I gotta figure out. Uh, uh, swords and wizardry is not the same for wizards, is it as the uh well, I don't even remember I think well, why did I make the other one? It, what spell are you thinking of taking? Cause... Well it's not it's not that, it's that I have a chance of under of, of Having a you bunch just have of to spells. roll. I have to and roll. You get at percent. least you get at least a certain amount, and then you roll for the extra ones. I think. Right? Yeah. You roll for yeah. all of them, and then you keep re-rolling until you hit the minimum. But but right. I, just for this, and I and I'll figure this out right now. Actually, I think this is worth it. I'd like to offer. I'm just going to go to your table at level one. You can have one spell memorized. So. Since that's the case, what spell would you like of the big ones? You want sleep? You want light? You want and light? By the way, I use the BX interpretation of it, so I can. They are used to using it like a flashbang grenade. Um, um, okay. Um, sleep, well, I think sleep. actually, if I remember, I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure I took. Uh, I'm pretty sure I took charm person. Okay. As my one spell in the other form, so, so I'll, I have that one memorized. Yeah. Sounds good. And actually, uh, this is meta, but Tag doesn't have that one, so that's pretty handy. Um, okay, so cool. Well, why don't we just say that you have that for now, since you can only have one memorized, anyways. And yeah. Can, okay. All right. So um, let's see. The next day, uh, the sun rises, um, and oh, he said he was going to try to get my story from me. Oh, who? I tried. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm just looking I, I'm seeking for answers I, I, I show a corner of the book that I'm carrying in my pack that's curious I still don't know what's in this book actually I'm not sure I've ever discovered it yeah it's in like a serpentine language or something yeah, does anybody speak any odd languages? Just common alignment and learning um, from what Tate is teaching me. Okay. Um, also, can, can I inquire with Tate about like what um, tricks he has exactly? Uh, sure. Uh, he tells you that he can, um, he can create uh, a, an illusion so real that people can actually believe they're being slain by it. Uh, nice. if, if it can be Wait, what if it can be done cl in a clever way um, he has he, he can he can put things to sleep uh, he can also uh, create a web uh, that fixes things in place almost like an, uh, uh, one of these spiders and he can create uh, uh, bolts of death itself uh, and, and, and slay things with it if it, if, it uh, if he has to call on the other to do it Yes, those phantasms sound interesting. I'd like to see them. In yeah, because I'll, I'll tell him that you know I've uh, I've seen the priests, you know, the using summoning forth light, and he's heard tales of people, you know, like uh, with things that stay stay lit forever. And he was just wondering if he'd heard about that trick. Uh, no, he he can't do that.
Nope. You've asked him to play to play Freebird. Guys, like I spent I spent 20 years learning how to do all these tricks and you want me to play Freebird. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. If, <laughs> you can't go wrong with a classic. So I think this, does this make it the fourth day? This is, I have us camping night one. That was our second night camping. We fought the spiders before we camped and then we camped and saw these guys. That was the third day. No, so, that, that was that was the fourth day. Yeah, yeah now we're on the fourth day. You're right. Four, okay, yep. yeah. so this starts Sorry. the fourth day. So everybody uh, should have marked off no. four rations. Sorry, go mm -hmm. ahead, Mike. Oh. No, I'm sorry. Somebody called me. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. Um, uh, this day, so you start traveling back through the mud. Uh, something promising is the mist starts uh, as the sun rises. Uh, the mist starts getting burned off in the afternoon enough where you can just think you think you can faintly make out the the rugged hillsides that that uh, nestle in uh, Anne's uh, hill fort off miles in the distance. Uh, you at least hope. Uh, the forest has been off to your left as you've gone, and um, it's about midday when you hear yelling and uh, the slapping of feet in mud ahead in the distance in the mist. Um, this is uh, this is about uh, 90 yards ahead of you uh, in your direction of travel. You hear feet slapping against mud, desperately yelling, and then the screeching of inhuman noises behind them. All right, who has a horse? Come on, let's charge. Let's go. Screaming. We're apparently uh, heroes. Or, I mean, I mean, we're supposed to be. We're not you know, lawfully stupid, though. We should, we should... It could be trying to lure us into a trap. We should all approach cautiously. I'll follow Bloombat on this one. I'll match his pace. There are less scrupulous individuals out there that could use trickery to ambush us. Less scrupulous than us? Less scrupulous, yes. And we barely scroop at all. I, I haven't scrooped <laughs> once. I swear I'd not be dropping no scroops, sir. Hmm. Bro, I've never not scrooped. No <laughs> don't do me like that. What's going on? Not well, I don't have the... Oh, wait, actually, I'll use this. So this is not Connell. These are Peoples. Five, six, seven. And they're fleeing a group of these spiders that are... Uh... So who's on horseback? I am. Okay, Father Bloom. I am, but it's not a war horse. Um, and Kellick. And anyone else? Solos, do you have a horse? No. Regarius, I think, had a horse. I'm I have Regarius marked with a horse, well, Bloombed marked with a war horse, and me marked with a riding all horse. Alright, well, I know he stepped away, so I'm going to say Solos, you stole his horse to do this, because this is your fault anyway. So you guys run ahead on horseback, uh, and this is what you see. You see a, a, a large group of these spiders um, chasing after and, and seeking to devour a group of people. Fleeing in the woods, another group of refugees here lost in the Forest of Hope. They really gotta rename this place. It's the worst name. What do you do? Uh, can we... Uh, we could be like the cavalry and try to like get a swipe in at these motherfuckers, right? Yeah, yeah, so no, I don't know Bloom if you guys can race your horses. Y you and I are on riding horses. These horses are likely is likely to buck us as anything oh, else okay. get them anywhere near a fight. If we can dismount and do whatever we like, but we, we need the whole group. We need your your arcane friend. We can try to draw their attention and draw them back to the main group. All right, is that um, ridiculously idiotic. Worst case scenario, we all die. <laughs> don't, 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 just don't tell me the answer to that question. <laughs> I, I made this deal before, so Father Bloombat, if you want to charge ahead, make a swipe, and then even run away, you can attempt to do that. Uh, but I'll I'll leave this to like a simple evasion mechanic to see how fast they are to catch up to you all. Uh, what if I drop a flash or a, a light spill in front of them? Flash bang them? With that, yeah, uh... that works. Uh, mm. It provides the separation. Everyone's able to get away. Um 
so allows yeah, our you, people to catch up. Yep, and it, it provides the time as you start to circle with your horses for uh, for everybody to catch up. Uh, what's are these spiders gathering up to approach us? Yep. As our guys gather. Uh, well, let me see. Actually, no, they're uh, scared of the flashbang grenade and they flee. Well, that was a great call. Yeah, no, light is light is awesome. Um, I, I honestly much prefer the lo like looser interpretations of, of spells being able to do cool shit. That's one of the things I actually like about Swords and Wizardry is it's actually like that a lot. It's like, eh, the, it, I don't know how many times it says in the text, the referee decides. Like, yeah, I, I once had a player, I think in 3.5, asked me if he could, like, he was like, can I use a ninth level spell slot to cast light and, like, annihilate this guy's face with light? And I was like, yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, so you scared off this group of spiders. Um, and then this group of people are fleeing off into the muddy, the muddy plains. Uh, towards Anne's or away from Anne's? Away from Anne's. Oh, well, I mean, let's, I'll hail them. I mean, I, I can, I'll run up, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll go up on my horse. Right up next to them? Uh, call them, call them back. They, they fall to their knees, uh, terrified, and they beg you not to kill them. Yes, uh, don't worry, the light will shine on all of you. Follow us. They, uh, having no other options, they do. They, uh, they form up, and now you have a group of starving, a massive group, like, what is it, seven plus, well, 13 starving people. Um, do you think any of these, um, any of these know how to use a hammer? Hammer? Yes, we could do it with a few carpenters, right? A tower? Anything. They, they do have a human capital shortage there. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, let's see here. Um, Should be almost to hands by now, I figure. Almost. Just checking for the last day, which of course turns out to be very eventful. Of course. Seven refugees, you said? Sorry, I know you're rolling stuff up. Uh, yeah, seven, seven more refugees. I think the total is 13. Um, this is interesting too. You, um, you see, uh, you, uh, well actually let me do some rolls. And then this is Solos, roll a d6. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Four, five, six. Um, okay. I think as you're trying to kind of scout ahead, uh, just off uh, your path here, people start riding towards you, and um, and there is a, a a battle underway between a a group of people in tabards on horseback and uh, other people that do not have tabards uh, and have mismatched armor. Um, let's see here. Wait, we've seen these guys with tabards before being ass jacks, right? Yes. Depends what tabards they have, but maybe, yeah. Hmm. This is our opportunity to get everybody mounted, also. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you are an excellent, an <laughs> excellent uh, quartermaster. So, um, I, I think it's a, we should get, um, how far away is that? Trying to get like a, they are uh, sixty yards away. Okay. Okay. Um, right next to you. Do we Where recognize the livery? Yeah, it, it looks like the it looks like the house of e house of Eastreach. Of. Uh, of is that uh, Mariadoc or, or is that the other dead? The yeah, other guy? Lord Mariadoc. Yeah. Dirty. They could be, but I think we've also run into people who are Mariadoc's men who just kind of like didn't give us any trouble on the way here a couple times there was one patrol that seemed i mean like they're fine. in the middle of a fight though so we either have to we have to pick a side quick or just ignore it tell me about the other side the other side the uh, grossly outnumbers them uh and uh they don't ha seem to have any uh common livery or armor 
or um, they're just yeah. wearing leather. Is the smaller force like that outfit? Are they more? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What about numbers? How, how many are there? Around about how many are there on each side? Um, let's see. Oh, where did I roll it? Uh, oh, I didn't roll it. Six times. Might actually be wrong. It's not wrong. Uh, there are 15 uh, of them that are battling uh, another... Well, 11, actually. They're pretty evenly matched. Um, but the, uh, the um, more disorganized side uh, outnumbers them. Well, about... What is it? Uh, they have two-thirds of their force. We're gonna handle this. Uh, I mean, I want to. I want to fuck the people in tabards up. That's, that's my uh, vote. Just, hang on. Yeah. Does it look like there's a leader on the other side? Which side? The oh. ragtag side. Yes. Yes. Say more. Uh, what can I get on a basic like uh, visual yeah, sure. inspection of what what's who's in charge? So, who's shouting orders? Uh, someone who um, uh, a. A man in finer armor who is staying back and not fighting. Um, that clearly seems to be the person in charge. As far as the one on the, uh, the, the, the more organized side that's fighting, you see uh, what is clearly a knight of the realm who, in plate armor. Let me make sure I don't have that. No. Yes, that is true. I mean, I would suggest we go with the tabard, keep the tabard people as allies and take out the bandits. Yeah, unless we ident My thought is this, and this I hope would be something that we had been able to communicate before beforehand at some point in our journeys. If we can't identify people who are ragtag and who are armed, probably they're brigands. Yeah. And that spooks me more, same as Bloombad, than the guys in livery who at least one time that we ran into them didn't even give us a hard time. They just said, I didn't yeah, yourselves. Yeah, but the people in livery they... also killed my last character. Yeah, but they so, killed my last character too. Yeah. But, but there's a knight. There's a knight in this. He, so, I mean, our knights. I mean, I, are... I'm either on, we don't get involved, or, you know. We need horses. I mean, there's 15 horses there if we beat the bandits. No, no, I'm sorry. They're not on a horseback. Um, let me tell you. Uh, I think the knights have horses. I, yeah, I apologize. Good. There are three, <laughs> Wait, <no. laughs> three horses. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm still for killing the bandits. I I mean... Okay, yeah, me too. Poor Fearcar hasn't gotten a payday since he came out here, and he came out here for a share of treasure. I mean, my suggestion was to have... Uh... My suggestion was, like, either... At, like, our magic user could try to charm somebody, and then um, T could fast asleep on all the ones in the tablets, and we could just charge in and try to, like, you know... Assess the situation. Yeah, but then, based on how well the sleep goes. If the bandits, and then if if, the, well, then we'll deal with the bandits, I guess. But I da like they, the, the, I, I'm I'm not sure why we're just labeling them bandits because they just look ragtag. We have no idea what's going on. Because they're armed and armored. I mean, that's fifteen attacks versus us uh, per round. I mean, that could turn out badly. I. I mean, I'm not 100% sure that they're bandits, but at least I know what one side is, and I know that one of these sides... We yeah, probably but we have to. We, we have at least a sleep and something else we could at least approach and make our presence known. And be like, hey, look, we could join in on either side and probably settle the score of this battle. Or you could tell us what the fuck is going on. Because <laughs> otherwise, really, we're just joining in on murdering people with absolutely no rhyme or reasoning other than ah, this seems okay for us. Which... Oh, we treat it like what it is. None of our business. Pretty close to the camp that we're trying to stay at. I think it's our business to figure something out. If you guys want to try to intervene some way other than getting into a fight, you're welcome to. I'm not a big fan of the bandits in this region. We haven't met a single one of them who goes out patrolling who's not up to no good. 
well, does anybody want to... Uh, I mean, we could also lump ourselves into that, really. Uh, I mean, one, one of you was considering letting the whole, <laughs> the whole place die not, not so long ago. <laughs> so, um, you know what I mean? It's not like you guys are angels. Um, but I would... I would suggest at least my vote in character and out of character is that we should like go in with a plan, but you know, try to figure out what's actually going on there. Well, in the time that you took to do this, I can tell you, so you're all talking and stuff. First of all, I'm going to give them a chance to, to die. Cause, uh, so let me look at that. Okay. So the guy in armor on the ragtag side, he doesn't have a mask on his face, right? Uh, no. Okay, so we know they're not within. Then. Right. Okay. A and we know she's basically at odds with every other group of yeah. whoever out here. I like armored knights in tabards. Yeah, if yeah, I had I would, to, I if I had to choose concern, based yeah. on nothing, uh, no other factors at all. We've just had bad interactions with the Lord. We've the Lord. we've seen them being like pretty douchey. I think if we're the same. Yeah. Well, we know there's I'm, one one set I, of bad eggs in that group, but I'm your guest. I owe you my life, and therefore I will not betray that. I merely don't wish to risk risk my skin for nothing. But yeah, what if we try to charm the guy in Based the on the outlook based on the outlook so far, maybe we should just kill them all. <laughs> I would not that's, be that's, 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 oh my god guys, we don't just need to kill them all to take their war horses. It's okay to have friends. <laughs> Bloom bad, you have command. Uh, no, no, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll take a vote. But what I'm saying is, like, uh, what happened in the round that we've been discussing is how many people died on each side? Uh, almost uh, a good third of each side has died in, in combat so far, including yeah, one of the leaders. The yeah, side. so who agrees that we should roll up and be like, you know, we should be like, you know, shout our, and know, you know, our presence and try to figure out what the fuck's going on? Just yeah. leave me in the back. We, we aren't an authority, and we're also kind of out of time. I think at this point, uh, we're doing anything, we just do... I mean, we can we send, like, a call. half of them to sleep, maybe. You know, if they, if, they don't, if they don't want to listen, then... They won't want to listen. These are... The, the knights have more authority than us in every official capacity that exists. Yeah, but this is the middle of Wyatt's. So, you know, Judge Dredd. In, I am the wolf. In this it amount of really time, matter. another round will have passed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. can we... Uh, do you guys want to do something? Let's see how many died first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... I would like to charge... Barring... Barring Bloombad's... <laughs> countervention. I mean, I thought we were voting. There's no vote. You have 20 seconds to, to do something. This is what officers are for. Someone makes a call. Yeah, we have, I, a, we have an officer. Yeah, but Father Bloomberg, go ahead and make a call. And that's. I mean, uh, how many died though? You're gonna say you just, just one. To just one died. We're oh, still okay. Fighting. I mean, let's charge. All right. Uh, we you can stay in the back, mantle sweat. It. <laughs> uh, exactly, exactly what I will do. If you charge yeah. the, uh, the plate mail guy on the on the uh, the armored guy on the ragtag side, he might know where treasure is. So, you know. All right, 120 feet. Mike, are you back? No. All right. Okay. okay I will. I will charm. I will charm the man who seems to be in charge on the bandit side. On the bandit side. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, charm. Uh, saving throw allowed. Saving throw. Very well. Uh, One hundred and twenty foot range. Desperately fails, and he's yours now. Oh, okay. I'm going to tell him to I run. Kind of fail. Is he in the middle of melee? No, he was standing back from the fight. You said. 
Yeah, uh, he is uh, right here, and uh, he. Wait, no, he is oh, right he here, him. and uh, he's yours. Okay, I'm gonna have him remove himself to our location. Okay. Uh, I've got him. I've got him, boys. Don't kill him. My, Can I, I have I'm holding my hands up and my fingers on, in a strange on, on configuration? The, on... Sorry, what were you saying? Uh, Can Tay cast sleep on this group here? Like this one? Because like, if they just all go to sleep and no one's dying, then sure. that's better, in my opinion. Yeah, let's take a look at uh, sleep here. Because um, I just need the chart. Because uh, there's a chart. I actually really like this version of sleep. I'm, I think I might like it. More. Yeah, it's really simple. Yeah. It just happens. Uh, and because they are one hit die, uh, and then for them, let me see here. And then let me, it, it's actually a little more complicated because there's a couple of bosses here. And they have basically three hit die. So... I'm going to kind of split the middle here to so an interesting thing happens uh, when you put when he's like okay okay and he starts a and he, this cloud of dust swirls around in that area and it kind of picks up and then you find, suddenly see like a bunch of them are asleep but uh, actually all of the leaders are asleep They just fall over asleep, but not as many of the minions. Okay. And the the ones that uh, the leaders are they the ones that have horses? Uh, yep. Oh, did they not get any other ones in the fight now? No. Uh, no, yeah, I got all the leaders and then like fewer of the minions actually. We get one more minion actually. Let me get this one right here. Okay, uh, and with that, they see their leaders fall over. They're also going to make a morale check, which they pass. All right, uh, what's the plan? Uh, you guys are charging into combat. Who are you? Who, who are you hewing down on horseback? Can I? If if can part of the plan be that I ask this guy real quick? What are you fighting about? Uh, I don't think he's to you yet, because he had well, to come over from he, over here. Yeah, you, you brought him over to me, but. Uh, maybe he's not actually there yet. Yeah, he'll be there the next round, but they haven't acted yet. So you said you were charging. Who are you attacking? Brigands. The brigands. I mean, I'm not attacking. I, I don't even know the weapon oh. drawn. Okay, no problem. All right, uh, Kelly, go ahead and roll the hit. I mean, I'll approach with them oh, just okay. in case. I'll like back up the the thing, but I uh, I'm not gonna like I'm gonna try and dip diplomacy. Anyone attacking? Go ahead and roll the hit and for damage. I, I may be torpedoing your diplomacy. I apologize. Uh, that misses. Okay, and if that's it, then uh, at this well, I point... I mean, I guess I could attack also, I mean... Okay. Uh, I guess I'll attack. Yeah, that guy. Oops, where's my sheet? But, but what, the half of their forces, everyone is... <laughs> why, why are you attacking me? Okay, alright, alright, how about this? I'll, 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 I'll yell flash out and I'll cast my second light spell right here. Okay, they uh, they lose their next turn. <laughs> Flashbang goes off. And then it'll affect their morale check. Is, is, is this like the big boy knight over here? Is nope. he like in charge of the... No, he's a uh, a very confused young man in a tabard with a pole arm, and, and he's just like, ah, 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 like on the other side of the trees, away from the combat. He's wondering if he should just run. Okay. Anyways, uh, back to um, back to Magnus. Uh, at this point, he does catch up to you. My good man, what are you fighting about? He's like, oh. I'm assuming that only something akin to madness makes any of this make sense. He's like, I'm so glad that you've made it, my friend. We're, yes, uh, I mean, you know I'd never abandon you. I knew it. Yes. <laughs> well, as you know, and I have to look these people up again. Uh, the, um... 
Are these the people work, who work for that dude in the port? Uh, Korak, uh, far to the north of here, she's, she's gathering forces to take control of the road. But every so often we have some of these ridiculous knights that make their way up here because they think that they can, they can try to bring order to the wilderness. They're fools and they meddle in our plans. And so, yeah. and so we're putting an end to this group. We can't let them make it back, however unlikely that would be anyways. Yes, yes. Although, as you know, it is true that some information can become very confused and there are many lies about. One must be careful. Absolutely. Yes, so much deception. You can't trust yeah. anyone. No, well, except me, of course. Right. I can always trust you. Yes. I always know you would. Now, these other plans you, you mentioned, I, I've been away for a while and I've forgotten most of them. What are they? Well, as you know... Is general control of the North and such? Uh, yes, eventually, uh, Korak, <clears throat> as you know, she has some sort of magic. I've never seen her myself because uh, the, the lieutenants aren't even allowed to see her. Uh, but her inner band, they're able to move their fortress with some magic. Eventually, they're going to use that to move against the main fort uh, of, of monsters that occupies the largest fort, uh, the abandoned castle that's near the old uh, coast road. And, um, I see. But anyways, and, the first and, step and, is to to make sure none of these knights make it back, uh, back into and into East Reach into civilized lands. They can't let uh, they can't let them know of our plans. Right? Are, are they friends to the monsters? No, they're fools. They don't realize that this place is infested with monsters. It's already fallen. They think that they can come here and establish order and start farms and. L lunacy like that. Yes, Maybe, yes. I'm gonna pan the camera back. Okay, so meanwhile, uh, uh, let's see. Mike's not back. These will have all. So they will have all made it up. So what's the what's the decision, Father Bloombad? Okay, so I mean, we were attacking. They're they're still flashed out. They can't. These these guys here can't see, right? On this round, they're not going to act, which is why I'm I'm gonna hand it back to you all, so you can you can act. Yeah, I mean, Kellick, we're still attacking them, right? I'm I'm waiting for your orders. If your orders are club them and tie them up, then I'll club them and tie them up. If your orders are attack, I attack. I mean, we already attacked once. Like, like, like let's just keep right. them rolling. That's it. All right, roll to hit and for damage. Look at that. 18 with a 5. 18 with a 5. You kill one of them. That's a, probably a miss. Uh, misses. Uh, Solos? Uh, I'm just going to stand there with my arms crossed. Okay. Oh, you wanted to kill these guys to begin with. No, no I didn't. I, <laughs> I wanted to kill the other guys. <laughs> the other guys that we're next to. Uh with this, as you all enter the battle, uh, I'm going to make a plus four to their morale check. Uh, they fail it completely with uh, both of their leaders gone, and they will seek to flee the remaining uh, the remaining brigands. Okay. Hillock will step forward to help up the probably blinded um, guardsman or knight or whatever he is who's over here night next to us. Okay, uh, let me see here. Oh, that one. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask this uh, guy, what's his, uh, oh, uh, friend, uh, I received a rather nasty knock on the head uh, in my travels, and I'm afraid I've completely forgotten many people's names, including yours, as sad as that is. Could you please remind me? Oh, of course, it's, uh, it's Manacon. I am a... Uh, what, I forget. A lieutenant oh, of Korak's had. gang. Yes. Well, not one of the high. So not even the lieutenant. Who who does get to see Korak these days? Oh, only her inner circle. Oh. Now, do you get to see them? Yes. Yeah, sometimes she'll send out her lieutenants to relay her orders in a kind of cell structure. In a way, it's actual actually multiple gangs. No one's even sure how many people Korak controls. Ah, uh, yes, and the unfortunates that have uh, been chased off here today, they were your gang? 
He looks back and he's like, oh, we've lost the battle. Uh, but, well, I'll tell you what. You wait here, because, as you know, I always have many irons in the fire, and so I need to go and check on that, and you can trust me. I'll be right back. Of course, yes, that only makes sense. And he just waits there. All right. Okay. Uh, Tags like, no, I, oh, I, I, I've been, I've been, um, I've been, uh, looking around in the book and I cannot, it, there's so many spells, the duration is until dispelled. So yeah, charm person just lasts like forever. Yeah, forever. So, yeah. cause I, I looked up what dispelled means in case it was like, uh, concentrate. Yeah, it's until you cast that's fucking that's it. dispel until magic. Dispel on magic. It. Yeah. So that's it. Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah, until dispelled, okay. this is your person now. You own it. So, okay. Oh boy. <laughs> well, okay, so that's what, really what oh I boy. needed to know, but I, I'm going to head back to the others so I can speak out of his earshot, and I'm going to wave and smile at him and encourage all of you all to wave and smile at him as well. Why are we waving and smiling? What have uh, you done? Well, um, I've charmed him. I'm back. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. You missed nothing. <laughs> I, I, I'm waiting for the time for me to come back and say what happened, and you're gonna say, "Oh, you charged first into the spider nest and you died." No, not like <laughs> that. Don't worry. You we went now. straight Weird. into the dragon's mouth, unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna retrieve the horses. Uh, the guys that are asleep on horses, I'm gonna take them off the horse and then take the horses back to my companions that don't have horses. All right, uh, Chris. Um, okay, so bring us up to speed. Uh, right. So. Um, this is the leader of one of, uh, really, the, the gang is now scattered. Uh, well, how many people ran, by the way? Uh, Successfully. About two or three. Four. Okay. In All fact. Because right. he tells you, you know. You attacked the tabard guys, right, over here? No, you guys attacked the brigands. I just attacked brigands. Oh, I thought I'm these helping were the tabard guy up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think the helmet guys are the the armored ones. Yeah, it's like laid dead. He's like, oh, I thought that was the other guys. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out. We got this. The is a pretty good summation um, of what's happening out in these woods right now. Like it's like, who are we fighting again? Okay, so this is one of apparently there's a bandit leader named Korak. Repeat Ooh. that name. Korak. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. A bandit leader named Korak. And uh, she apparently governs some sort of magic or has access to some sort of magic that causes her fortress to move from time to time. So we've heard about it. She commands several cells of uh, gangs roaming independently who, have, who are now deliberately trying to exterminate these knights to uh, stop them from returning uh, with uh, any news back to Eastreach. Uh, and uh, and uh, he calls them fools uh, that because they want to bring civilization here and uh, build farms and such. Meanwhile, he's entirely under my control. I suggest we send him back to Korak and uh, let him be until it comes the time that he may be useful again. Perhaps to stab her in the back one day or at least uh, get a, get us close to her back should the need arise, or I could just keep him and see what happens. The need may arise sooner than you think. This Korak, we slew twelve of her spies not a week ago oh my. at an old tower. That was the first task that we undertook for this Anne. Oh well, huh. hmm. well, perhaps we should keep him around at least long, long enough to learn as much as we can. Yes. Yeah, so he'll be our companion for at least a, a little while. So maybe we could. Although the him. longer he the longer he stays away, you know, the he, he, the suspicion may grow, especially if any of his men noticed that he ran away during the battle and came over to me to talk. So a couple of things really fast, just to address the horses. Yes, you get the three horses from the the bandit leaders, so you now have three riding horses. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say they're war horses. You have three war horses, uh, so I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget. Three war horses, or the group. Um, and uh, at this, uh, the remaining soldiers of the of the barony uh, of, uh, of of Lord Mariadoc, they they wake up their leaders, and one of them 
gets back on his horse and rides forward and he says, who is in charge here? He gets back on his horse that I took. No, you're fighting the the bandits. We not took the, the bandits' oh, horses. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just confused. <laughs> Man alive. <laughs> War is hell. Although, to be fair, this is probably what would happen. Like, that's actually... This is about well, his that organized... all makes sense to yeah. me, actually. Okay, yeah, so, no, this uh, this knight, he's, he's a middle-aged man in plate armor with a fancy mustache, and he rides forward. Who is in charge here? Limbad, you want to take this one, or me, or... Regarious, he's never let us down. I mean, Father Bloombad, you're in charge. Great, but, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, what's, uh, I am. The light <laughs> is in charge. Is it not glorious, and I stare up oh. at the sun? <laughs> I, I might ask you the same thing. Why are you speaking in riddles? What, what business do you have out of here? What, who are you people? Cleansing the land. Ah, cleansing the land. Uh, so, you're some sort of crusader, then? Are you part of some order? Yes. Ah. Follow the light. You show him your symbol? No. Uh, he says, Ah, Father, well, yes, indeed, the light does shine upon us. Well, at least now that you have saved us, in fact. Uh, we're very grateful. I am, I am Sir Kenhawk, and, uh, I, uh, <clears throat> I've led an expedition into these woods to bring back order here, but I see it was folly now. And uh, yes. he looks back and he says, I have only three soldiers left. I ask that we journey together, at least until I can make my way back to the lands of my lord. You've got quite, a, quite the entourage. I don't know if you can walk uh, on the paths we've chosen. Uh, what path is all that? Hold on. Uh, I must consult with my companions. Well, we're, yeah, we've no. already we've already got a train of uh, yeah. I mean, two, we got, well, we got two or three people. dozen peasants. I mean, why? Yeah, what? what? I, I, th I think the addition of a couple of sword arms couldn't hurt. Uh, we, we don't know about the. Uh, well, I, you know what? I can pray for detect evil tomorrow, and then I can uh, I can sort out whether they're pure of heart or not. Pray tell. It's not that I'm worried gentleman. about. Um, have you heard of Anne's Redoubt? Anne's Redoubt? No. Is that some sort of shrine? Is that is that her lady far, in waiting here? Um, no, she doesn't allow anyone to see past her screen, but that's where we're headed. Of screen, ah, so she has made vows then. Yes, I'd like to meet Lady Anne. If you come with That's us, nice. you're actually going to have to just be quiet and hang back. Positively quixotic. <laughs> Since we're running out of time, um, you make it back to Anne's Fort, uh, where there are a great oh, many God. things not worked out for, for what we're going to do, but that will end the session for tonight.